Hello, I said sixth graders. Now remember, uh, at the last lesson, I did tell you that I'm going to give you a quiz about Vincent van Gogh's life. So that's what I will do first today. I prepared 10 questions. Okay. So get a piece of paper and a pencil and then put the number one through 10 okay, and get ready to answer my questions. If you need some time to get those things, pause the video and come back. All right. Okay, so here comes question number one. Where was Vincent van Gogh born? Where is he from? If you don't know, just guess or leave a blank. Number two, what is the name of his younger brother? Now remember, they wrote letters back and forth all their lives, and then they were best friends. All right, number three. Vincent had several jobs before he decided to paint professionally. Name some of these jobs, or at least one job. Think of his father if you forgot. What did his father do? Okay, number four. In his early days as an artist, he painted mostly with dark colors on certain subjects. What did he paint about? This answer has something to do with one of the jobs that he held. Okay, question five. Something opened Van Gogh's vision and he started to use bright colors. What influenced him? Actually, the answer has something to do with me, Mrs. Lee. Is that a good hint? Okay, number six. He lived with another artist in a small town in France. Who was his roommate? You might not remember his full name. So if that's the case, just give me his last name. He's also a famous artist. Number seven, he did something very destructive to himself uh, when he was very depressed because his roommate left. What did he do? Now this, this is a very famous episode. So you might, you probably know about this. Number eight, Van Gogh became very famous before he died. This is a yes or no question. That was easy, huh? <laughs> okay, number nine, how old was he when he killed himself? You might remember, you might not. If not, just guess. Number question 10. This is the last question. Name some of his famous paintings that you know. Okay. If you know more than one, you can put more titles than one. All right, so th those were the 10 questions. Now I'm going to give you 
the answers. Okay. And count how many you answered me correctly. And I'm sorry, I'm not going to give you a prize or anything, but you can be proud if, of yourself if you do well. <laughs> All right. Answer number one. Vincent van Gogh is from Holland. Okay. Number two. His brother's name is Theo or Theodore. Number three. Uh, some of the jobs that he's had uh, were art salesperson at the gallery or bookstore clerk, or he worked along with his father as a preacher. Okay. Number four. Okay. Uh, in, uh, during his early period, Van Gogh often painted poor people okay, just because he associated with them as a preacher. Okay. Number five, the th thing that influenced his painting style was Japanese print or ukiyo-e print. Okay, prints. Okay. Okay, Qu uh, answer six. The, his roommate's name was Paul Gauguin. Okay. Answer seven. Vincent sliced part of his ear. That was a sad day. Okay. Answer eight. Vincent van Gogh became very famous before he died? The answer is no. Actually, out of almost 1,700 artworks that he drew and painted, he only sold uh, two drawings and maybe one or two uh, paintings. So he died unknown. He had a very sad life, remember? Okay. okay. Answer nine. He was 37 years old when he died. That is very young. And number 10, okay, what did you write for this? Okay. There are multiple answers for this. Uh, probably the most famous one will be uh, this one. Yeah. Starry Night. Okay. And and I do have, uh, let me tilt this camera here. I do have several Vincent van Gogh's um, paintings here. He did a lot of self-portraits. This is one of them. And a lot of sunflower paintings. Okay? And landscapes, um, plants, and, and so on. Okay, so. Let me just put this back up again. Okay, so how did you do? Did anyone answer all 10 questions correctly? Hey, you are a bungo genius if you did that. Good for you. Okay. And, okay, so now let me talk to you about the actual project that you could do along with this lesson. It is called Linear Landscape. And actually, in this magazine, it shows um, creating linear landscapes. It, it shows the process. You don't have to have a graph lines like this. You pick a random um, photos or landscape picture, and then you try to copy that with lines, with line strokes like that and try to use um, bright colors just like the Van Gogh did okay. and you can just use crayons to do this now let me show you my example oh by the way I have this 
example right here. This is what I drew. Uh, this would have been your project if the school was fully open. Sunflower project, but we cannot do that this year. Maybe, maybe I'll come back to Vincent Van Gogh and do this once once the school is open. But I don't know yet. This is a big art show project. It will take you uh, maybe four to five art sessions with me, always the pastels that I've got. Okay, so we're not doing that today. That's a bit too much. Okay, but. What you can try at home or even in your classroom if your teacher allows you is the linear landscape. So this is the example that I made for that. Okay. So, and then this is the picture, the photo that I used to create this. I just ripped this page out of the National Geographic magazine you can use any uh, your own photo or like postcards or calendars or whatever you got and change the color into bright Van Gogh color and then try to uh, draw things with lines. Okay. It's kind of like a, a rhino project but this time you're using the crayon. Okay. Now do you remember Vincent Van Gogh used a lot of paints sometimes straight from the tube and just drew uh, the landscape or other paintings like that with the lines straight out of tube so that's what we're trying to create okay now this might be that sound too much for you you might be thinking oh mrs lee i cannot do that without you in the art room okay so i have another optional um project I did copy uh, the lines from the starry night. Okay, can you see that? Oh, is that too close? Okay, so this is what I created for your coloring page. Okay, uh, I gave uh, some of these to the teachers. Okay, teachers, you can copy uh, whatever the numbers you need. And, or uh, I can put some, some of these on the, um, uh, art, art closet door, okay? And you can just grab, grab that um, from me or your teacher. Uh, E-school kids, uh, office have, have some, um, the same paper too. So you can pick them up if you wanna try, okay? Before or after school. And then uh, you can just use crayons for this. You don't need pastels or anything special and Color it. Okay, this is what I did. I have not finished it. That's on purpose, just so that you actually believe that this, I use the same paper. So <laughs> this became that. Okay. All right. I, uh, maybe I finished it in a couple of days, and maybe I put it uh, by my art closet door for you to look at. But, you know, you don't have to do this. This is a lot of work, okay? If you want to, you can, you can try and see. <laughs> and if you can do it, but you don't have to. You can just uh, color it however you want. Or if you don't even want to do that, you can just use the backside to draw whatever you want. It's a free drawing. Okay, so that is uh, this week's challenge. And uh, hopefully, when you all come back to the art room, when by the time I can give you real art lessons, hopefully we can work on a sunflower project. We'll see. Okay. Okay. That's all today. Thank you for watching us. See you next week. Okay. Oh, by the way, next week I have a fall um, seasonal uh, craft kind of project. That we're going to just stay away a little bit from the focus artists. Just simply have fun. Okay. All right. Okay. See you next week. Goodbye.